The past few weeks have flown by at the speed of sound. Sometimes I feel like life is moving so fast that I can't even keep up with it. I wish things would slow down, even for a second, so I could reevaluate my place within the universe. This past weekend, my mom and I took a trip that reminded me of the things in life that I find most important. Hey. Um, hi. Good morning, hello, good afternoon, good night. Thank you. Hello. Mom, where are we? No, like, where are we? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like, where are we? I don't know. We're at some little yellow dome. Minnesota's largest candy store. That's where we are. Minnesota's largest candy store, America's biggest puzzle store, and the world's largest soda, soda selection. If we're going inside, this is gonna be fun. Dad? Hey, Dad. Love you. Mom, can we get this one? Oh, yeah. My gosh. I was getting muted on purpose. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like they're watching me. They're coming after me. Nobody is safe. Hey, bro. What's it? What's? How's it? How's it hanging? Um, I feel like I was just on drugs for like 15 minutes. Whoa, pretty sunset. Good morning. Hi. You are beautiful, aren't you? Thank you, I know I am. I swear, they're following me. <laughs> I really don't care. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, yeah. Oh, frick. Um, hello. Sometimes I don't know why I am the way that I am. I would just like to make sure everybody knows that, that sometimes I just don't know why I do the things that I do. My mom and I had a four hour drive to get to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, where I had a competition on Saturday. This gave us some much needed quality time together to talk and catch up. Irish dancing is, and will definitely always be, a huge passion of mine. Nothing else in the world compares to the feeling of weightlessness as I fly across the stage. I ended up winning the competition as well as a cash prize of $1,000, which is honestly pretty lit. After the competition was over, my mom and I took a two hour journey south to the great state of Nebraska. 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 Irish dancing has taken me many places over the years. Ireland, Scotland, England, and Canada are just a few of the plethora of places that I've had the opportunity to visit. This past weekend, Irish dancing took me to three states, Minnesota, South Dakota, and Nebraska, the last of which happens to be where my dad grew up. Over the years, my dad would always tell me stories about the adventures he and his siblings would have on the farm where they lived. I could never really picture what it would have looked like, small town Nebraska in the 1950s and 60s. That is, until Irish dancing finally took me to Osmond, the town where my dad was born and raised. I could picture my dad sitting in the pew at church, 
and walking to school. I could see him so clearly doing his chores in the early winter light. And I could even see him and his friends meeting in the cornfield to hang out. Even though I had never been there before, it felt so familiar, almost like I was at home. Most people would think that Osmond was the least notable out of all the cities and towns I've traveled to over the years. But to me, Osmond felt like the most important place that Irish dancing has taken me. Hello. Um, so, to fill you all in on a little um, what, what's happening in my life, um, we are in Osmond, Nebraska. Um, this is the town that my dad grew up in. Um, my dad is like one of 10 and lived in Nebraska for like his entire life up until he was like 18. And this is it. There's like, there's not a whole lot to see, but it's really, really interesting being here um, and just seeing like, there's my mom in that red car. It's just seeing like, I don't know, seeing, where he grew up, I guess. It's so interesting. Like, it makes me kind of emotional, like, in an interesting, weird kind of way. Um, but yeah, this it. This is the whole town. Like, the whole, the whole town. Like, the whole town. It's raining and I'm starving and it's starving and I'm raining. And I'm starving. And it's raining. Okay. <laughs> Mom, any thoughts? Uh, sculptures? <laughs> yes. That is true. Time to go to the pool. It's pool, it's pool time. Extraordinarily lame. I'm sorry for that. Hello. What's up? Hi everyone, I just fell asleep for like 18 minutes. Can you tell? Literally holding my phone in my hand watching a YouTube video and I feel like I'm gonna... Zombie corpse. Attack of the zombie corpse. Cold morning from South Dakota. Uh, we leave today to go back to um, where we live. Where do I live? Philadelphia. Um, and yeah, we have like a four hour drive to go back to Minneapolis. Yeah, okay, okay. There's mom. Hey mom. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I think I'm falling. For you. Get it? Because it's a waterfall. And it's a it's a it's falling. Don't worry, I'm not driving. Life may be moving fast, but these 72 hour trips really slow everything down, even if it is just for a weekend. Hey, um, what's up? Hi, uh, hey. So, I'm feeling weird. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like every time I get back from these like 72 hour trips, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it's like I have these like two separate lives and like one of them is like always traveling and then one of them is like here at college, like at school. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Part of me, I don't know. I think I leave a little 
piece of me everywhere I go, if that makes sense. Um, which is kind of cool. And it's definitely like different than anybody else's experience, you know, that's in college right now. I feel like I'm, I have a very singular, like, <laughs> college experience, world experience, and I'm thankful for that. Um, I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, it was really, really cool to see my, my dad's hometown, like where he grew up. Um, it's so different from anywhere else I've ever been in the world. And so, like, so real. It was so, like, I don't know. I mean, my, my dad has always told me stories about growing up, and I, I never really had, like, a, a visual for it. You know, like, I can never really imagine what it looked like, what the landscape was like, even, like, what the what the sky would have looked like and like what the what the ground and the earth would have looked like you know um so getting to see that like getting to see the actual places where he lived and grew up and spent a lot of his time when he was a kid um that was really really cool i could actually like see i don't know see him like living there and working there and growing up there and see what it would would have been like um obviously things have changed a lot since he grew up but um here I am, um, I'm back in Philly and ready for, <laughs> ready for a new week, ready for the, the week to begin. So yeah, uh, if you liked this video, give it a big fat thumbs up, um, that'd be really cool. And comment uh, your thoughts down below and um, you can check out my channel for these other like 72 hour trips that I do. Uh, I make videos for everyone usually so try to check check them out and what else what am i forgetting um links to my social medias are down below if you want to follow me um and yeah that's all um thank you to everybody who watches my videos um it really means a lot i love every single one of you 